Welcome! This is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. Today's lesson is math expressions 4-10. We are going to be practicing addition. You guys are getting really good at this and we want to be able to identify and explain errors in addition and how to solve those word problems. We want to understand what that means when we get an addition problem that doesn't work. Let's get started with any time problem. Here's 134. I'd like you to figure out some different ways. If we take 134 and figure out another way to write that, we could start out by doing expanded form. Because that's a standard number, we can take 100 plus how many tens? 30 plus how many ones? 4. 134. Well, there is one way we can write it, but it says we can also use a subtraction expression. How are we going to do that? We need a number that's bigger than 134. Well, let's try this one, 266. And what I've done is I've actually created a math mountain. If we take 200 minus 66, we should get 134, correct? So let's write that down as another expression. 200 minus 66 equals 134. There we go. We've got two different ways that we've written how to do that. Well, remember to practice your multiplication. There are several kids that are close to beginning their uh, candy bar this week, so we hope that everybody can be able to do that. Let's get started with our problems today. We're going to look at the iTools, and this is going to look at errors in addition and how to solve word problems. Well, we can use these place value blocks to check to see if our answer is correct. If we got 744 plus 172, I thought it was 860. 16, but let's check our answer. How am I going to check my answers? Well, let's check by adding up all the ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 in that ones column. How many tens are there? There's 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. I've got the 1 there for the 1 10, but what happened to the other 100? Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Got 816, so I've got it right, correct? Let's line it up and check our answer. Add, lined up, check our answer. Try again, but I got the right answer. What happened was we have this extra 100. Let's regroup. Now, what should our answer be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, and 110 plus 6 ones. Let's change that to 916. Check our answer. We got it right. Let's try another one. This time it's 477 plus 344 equals 811. 477 plus 344. Now we know what we're supposed to do. Let's uh, go ahead and put our answer in, add it up, and now we we can check our answer. I don't think we did it right. Let's regroup. Watch that become a 10 and watch this as we regroup this way. There goes another 10. Now before we check our answer, let's check to see if we have it right. 1, 1. How many 10s? 2. And how many 100s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We got 811, right? No, there's two 10s, isn't there? So let's check and change that to two 10s check your answer. We did it. Good job. Well, that's easy. One of the hardest parts in third grade math is being able to come up with your own problem that other people can solve. And I've noticed that especially on homework, it's very hard to figure out what to do. So I want you to stop the video, look at this table, and figure out a problem that you would like to solve using addition and solving word problems. Go ahead and stop the video. Now to help you, I'm going to come up with one way that I'm going to interpret these numbers. This is a school carnival ride and there's the twister, the monster mix, the crazy coaster, the mega wheel, and the bumper cars. Well, I want to look at the most popular ones. Well, here's the question I came up with. How many people went on the two most popular rides? And you could have come up with some other ways to use those numbers to come up with a similar or more complicated addition problem. Well, let's figure out my problem first of all. And the two most popular rides, that is the most popular ride. The bumper cars is most popular. If I take those two and add them together, I can actually... Uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 0 is... 9 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So if we add those two together, we get 599. Now you could have come up with the three most popular rides or another word problem that would have said the least popular, the Monster Mix and the Crazy Coaster. Or you could have come up with all the ones that started with an M. What you're trying to do is show real world math problems that rarely do happen. 
Here's another equation that you could have written for the school carnival ride. And this one is the total tickets for which three rides equals about 900. Well, if we look at the ones that we just looked at, the most popular, we found that 298 was close to about 300. And the bumper cars was about 300 too. Let's look at the other problems. We want to keep this in mind. We want about. So what does that mean? We're rounding up or down. 229, what is that closest to? 200. And 193 is closest to? 200. 295, closer to 200 or 300? 300. So what's three rides equals about 900? I'm going to go with the Twister, the Mega Wheel, and the Crazy Coaster. Check my answer. Oh, I got the Twister and the Mega Wheel. Oh, but I was supposed to add an extra 300. The bumper cars, I forgot about that. 900 would have been about how many rode on those three rides. Stop this after you've read the question. You want to write an equation and solve the problem. Well, let's try to solve it. Suppose another student has a collection of sports cards. So we're going to add sports down here. And we want to find the number of sports cards that is 154 greater than the number of rocks. So if we take the number of rocks, 403, and we add it to 154, so what operation are we going to use? We're going to use plus. Let's take 154 plus 403 and see if we can figure out the answer. I say it is 557. What do you say the answer is? Let's check our answer. 557 cards. Before we go on, um, this will be kind of what we'll be doing in class, but we want to see what kind of mistakes these guys have made. Now we've already looked at this equation, 744 plus 172, and we figured out that it was missing one extra 100. When we added the 4 plus 7, we forgot to add the extra 1. And we can put it down here, or we could have put it up here. But we've got to make sure we add it in to make that 916. Well, let's take a look at this one. 639 plus 183 equals 731. Is that correct? What error did they make? Okay, the error that they made was 9 plus 3 equals... Wait a second. 9 plus 3 does not equal 11. 9 plus 3 equals... We're going to put a 2 there. Carry the 1. 3 plus 8 is 11. Plus 1 is 12. We're going to put a 2 there. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Plus 1 equals 8. So that should have been 800. And 22. Let's check our answer. So the correct answer would have been 822. Well, we'll look at some of these others during class, but let's look at what an error is. An error is a mistake. So what is my mistake in 34 plus 26 equals 50? 6 plus 4 does equals 0. We carry the 1. 3 plus 4 plus 2. No, 1 plus 3 plus 2. We're just looking at the tens column. 3 plus 2 equals 5, but what did we forget? We forgot to add this extra 1. So what should be the correct answer? 60. When we make a mistake, it's just a tiny error usually that puts our answer so it's not correct. Now another word for mistake is error. We don't want to make as many errors as we go through our math, but we want to learn from our errors also. So practice and you'll start to see that the mistakes get less and less. I want you to stop the video and see if you can figure out this problem. This will be going over grouping, which we'll be talking about on Monday, the grouping method of addition. See if you can group the 345 and 276 to see if you can make that answer correct. Now this answer I will share with you on Tuesday or Wednesday to see if you've got it correct, but I want you to try it out. We will have a quick quiz on Tuesday or Wednesday, and it will check your understanding to see if you understand how to add using story problems and subtract and using grouping. And we'll also check your fluency. This brings us to the end of tonight's lesson. We will be doing homework and remembering on your homework, and it will be passed out on Monday, so you can do it on Monday or Tuesday nights. And we want to uh, do something with Christmas around the world. We'd really like to have a small of different things that you can bring that will bring festivity into our class but into our lessons as well. We'll be talking about this on Monday and Tuesday and we'll be deciding as a group, as a class, what um, foods you will be bringing on Thursday or Friday. The homework, there's the homework, and then these two sheets are going to be classwork. I just wanted you to see that, that there's only 10 problems there, but 
We'll be doing that in class so I can make sure that you understand it. And this brings us to the end of the lesson. When and where did you watch the video? What was the main idea? And remember you wrote one question for me earlier in the lesson with the carnival rides. So that will be tonight's question that shows me that you understand how to write a word problem. Thank you and good night.